right, so honored to be joined today with my personal doctor, Dr. Joseph Gerges. Thank you for coming by today. It's my pleasure to be here. It's my honor to be with you. I appreciate that. So look, we'll get straight to the point. You've been my doctor here for a little over three years. You have helped me correct my high blood pressure issue without medication, no longer taking blood pressure meds. Um, AFib, AFib was a huge issue that I've been dealing with for many, many years. You've gotten that under control with no surgery. Uh, cholesterol issues with very minimal medication, we've corrected that. Uh, you've helped me optimize my testosterone levels and uh, also minimize stress, overall stress through daily life and, and things through work or whatever it is, you've helped me uh, maintain that stress and live a better quality of life. So I'd like you just to start here, give the guys some your credentials and, and your history and, and all that good stuff. Uh, sure, it's uh, my pleasure. I'm, uh, first of all, I'm very glad that you're doing excellent. This is, you know, this is the best thing that happens in my life when I hear one of my patients telling all that they're feeling that great. <laughs> Uh, so basically, uh, uh, I did my education in uh, Egypt. Uh, I graduated from Cairo University uh, in 1991 at the age of 22 years old. I finished medical school, thank God. Uh, after this, I did uh, my first training, rotating internship in Egypt. From there, I did the military service. I was in the Egyptian military for uh, almost close to a year and a half. After this, I came to the United States. Uh, during the military service, that's when I did uh, my studies for United States medical licensing exams. And after I, thank God, I took those with great uh, results, I was able to get a lot of interviews to come to United States. And I did my interviews, picked up a, a very uh, uh, excellent hospital in Philadelphia. It's called Abington Memorial Hospital, and it's part of training, and it's associated with Temple University. It has some of the best practicing physicians in Philadelphia area, and that's where I did my residency for three years. Uh, from there, when I finished, uh, thank God I did very well, and I got an offer uh, from Cleveland Clinic. Uh, uh, it's uh, the number one uh, cardiovascular hospital in the country. It's in Cleveland, Ohio, and that's how I ended up going to Cleveland. Uh, in Cleveland Clinic, I worked with them, with them the first few years of my career. Um, I thank God I worked very fast. So I used to finish working by around 12 o'clock, and I, I have to stay in the hospital. I can't go home until 6. So I have six hours in my hand every day. So it's one of two things. I can uh, sit down, you know, play, com uh, play computer games on my phone or learn. <laughs> After I'm done, uh, like around 12 o'clock, uh, finishing rounding in my patients and I have the extra time, I started uh, spending time with the fellows in different specialties in medicine, Cleveland Clinic. So I started to att attend training with cardiology fellows. After this, endocrinology, gastroenterology. And I had the chance through the Two and a half years I was uh, there in Cleveland Clinic to run through different disciplines in medicine mm -hmm. where I got exposed very well to 10 specialties. Um, you know, I'm blessed with the ability to learn fast and uh, that's how I, got, thank God, I finished medical school at the age of 22. Yeah, that's, so, that's amazing. Yeah. I want to touch on that to start. I mean, you finished medical school at age 22 uh, and then you're able to study with the, some of the best doctors in the world at the Cleveland Clinic that's and learn all of these different uh, uh, areas of Some medicine, specialties, yes. right? And and that's for me one of the the major benefits of working with you over the past three three and a half years is I no longer need to go to a cardiologist. I need to, I don't need to go to specialist. I can go to you for all of my medical needs. Uh, th that's exactly true. Again, like uh, I do a lot of things in medicine more than an average doctor. Uh, it's been a blessing that I had that opportunity to learn all these things and to practice it. Because one of the things is when people do the specialty of internal medicine as a first specialty, uh, the training is very more geared towards, let's say, uh, well, uh, the stomach is hurting, let's consult the stomach doctor. Uh, chest pain, let's consult the heart doctor. Foot pain, let's get the foot doctor. So basically, mm -hmm. the medical system is oriented to like, yes, I, I'm the one who's organizing your care, but you have to run to 10 different, 10 different people for every little thing to tell you what you have. Right. And uh, thank God with that exposure I had in Cleveland Clinic. And then as a practicing physician, after I started my own medical center in Ohio, I, would, I practiced what I learned. And I found out uh, through the years that the best learning actually came from my patients. So uh, very quickly, I started to become very busy. I reached a point in uh, Ohio uh, that my clinic was seeing like, 80, 90, 100. I remember my record day seeing 120 patients in one day. Wow. Uh, so with this total wow. number of uh, office visits, you get to see at some point, you see the same problem for, for so many different times from many different angles, from many different patient circumstances. 
So the experience was the most important thing that, you know, made me who I am today is my patients. You know, uh, if an average doctor sees around 20 patients a day, and I thank God I was seeing 100 to 120, that was a blessing because I had the opportunity to have five times the experience of that average doctor. That shaped in a whole different way the way I practice medicine because you see the outcome of different conditions, different problems, how different specialists did it, how different surgeons approach a problem, what kind of complications happen. So at some point, you're able to have the vision and to steer your patients in the right direction from all the things that sits in your memory from similar situations. Of course, uh, it gets more complicated when you do that kind of scope of medicine because every morning I have to review different medical journals and studies for the 10 different areas that I do. Right, right. So you're you're getting hit from all different angles with all different correct types of uh, complications or ailments or whatever it is. But you've been lucky enough to, like you said, you were blessed. You've worked with a lot of different types of doctors throughout your educational period. Yeah. And then you were able to work with so many patients. I mean, it's seeing up to 100, 120 patients per day and seeing all these issues and yes. being able to work through these problems. And with to clarify, in that part, a lot of people were going to say, like, you know, well, how come this guy, if he doesn't spend time with patients, if he's seeing 120 <laughs> patients a day, then that's a, he must be like uh, not doing a good job. He's not listening to the patient. Things doesn't work this way. I developed a very efficient system. So when I was doing uh, this kind of work, you know, I had several physician assistants, nurse practitioners, and residents and medical students. All these people go in as a first line into the rooms, prepare the story, that's what is happening with the patients, what's all their complaints. And these people come out and they give me a consolidated presentation of what is going on. Same thing like when you come to my office and one of my physician assistants always start with you and prepare things. And then as I go in, I'm very focused into all the issues you have, and I ask all the relevant questions. So this way, whatever, if you have five problems, six problems, 10 problems, we make sure all of them are addressed properly and we manage them. And then I don't waste my time writing prescriptions and doing this and that. That's where my assistants do all that extra. I don't sit and touch the computer as you've seen. Right. You know, they're doing this. My whole focus in the time I'm spending is my eyes and your eyes and my attention is 100% here. So it's a different way of practicing medicine that allowed me to be able to see this kind of number of patients. Yep. Not because I don't listen or I don't give the patient enough time. No, I can attest to that because I've seen you many, many times and you have a system. Someone comes into the room, we talk through the issues, you come in next. And I can, you know, from the very first time that I went to see you, I could tell that you actually cared about your patients, which a lot of doctors maybe do or don't, I'm not sure, but I've had different experiences, but you came in, you addressed the issue, uh, you remembered when I came back and discussed the, you know, the previous issues, and I could tell that you had that connection with the patients, which a lot of other doctors don't. So, and being that you do all of this and, and you work with so many different patients, obviously what you're doing is working because your business, your, your practice is, is very successful and busy. And I see a lot of people. It's definitely has been a blessing because, uh, at some points, even since I left Ohio and I moved here to Florida, it was more or less like a start from scratch. And it's very hard to start from scratch oh. when you're leaving in a place where you're sitting on the top and everybody knows you. But at some point I was frozen in the cold of Ohio and I had to make the decision that I need to be in the sunshine in Florida. But the, the most challenging part was like, you know, starting from scratch for people who don't know you, who don't know what's the capabilities. So I remember it was, I had a one year traumatic experience, 2017, which is building my name in Florida from scratch. Mm. Why? Because every patient that comes to me have five, six, seven specialists. You know, if they sneeze, they're seeing an EMT doctor. You know, if they had a headache, they're seeing a neurologist. Right. And, and the story, every, every patient knows what I'm talking about. So for me to convince them that I know the answer for all these things, that's a, was a massive challenge. So it, uh, it, yeah, it's, it, it's tough taking, you know, somebody's health when they've been used to another doctor. Exactly. And seeing people for years, you're the new guy yes. in town. But, but you like know, I said, what you're could, doing is working. So. You could be seeing like six, seven, eight doctors and a lot of things are mismanaged because different people doing different things that's not mixing together. Correct. So that's one of the big differences is when I'm looking at a patient with my mind, 10 specialties, I'm not doing something to fix the heart and mess up the kidney or doing something, you know, to fix the, the sugar and I'm messing up the liver. You know, all things are connected. So it's, it makes a big difference when you put the puzzle within one brain Then too many people are trying to help sincerely, but they're not paying attention to what the other guy is thinking and the patient is lost in the middle. Right. You know, so it took some time, but from 2018 and after, uh, things changed dramatically because people understood what I'm capable of and they've seen the results. 
And that's how a lot of these patients started to put reviews online in every different angle that thank God as the beginning of this year, I'm the top review doctor in healthgrace.com in the state of Florida and national. <laughs>